everyone, thank you for tuning in to A Graders. Here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced science curriculum writer, Ms. Jody, who will share with us what the Primary 4 students will be learning for science in October. So Jody, what are they learning this month? Okay, most goals will be completing on a topic on heat energy. So students are required to learn quite a handful of topics for the, uh, concepts for this topic. So I will address seven of the major concepts here. So number one is they will learn how to identify sources of heat, for example, fire and sun. Number two, they have to differentiate between heat and temperature, which is heat is a form of energy, whereas temperature is a measurement of degree of hotness of an object. And number three, okay, heat flows from a hotter to a colder region until both object or region reaches the same temperature. So as such, a, a colder objects will gain heat, while hotter objects will lose heat. Okay, for number four, all right, they have to know the relationship between heat gain, heat loss, and temperature, whether they increase or decrease. So when an object gains heat, its temperature will increase. When an object loses heat, its temperature will decrease. So for number five, all right, they have to know heat gain and heat loss will also cause a matter to change its state, as shown in a diagram here. And in number six, heat gain and heat loss relationship with expansion and contraction. So, when an object gains heat, all right, it will expand and occupy more space. When an object loses heat, it will contract and occupy less space. And finally, they have to know heat conductivity is a concept that is heavily tested through experimental questions. So they have to know that good heat conductors all right, will gain heat and lose heat very quickly, such as metals. And on the, hand, on the other hand, all right, poor conductors of heat will gain and lose heat very slowly, such as plastics or wood. And finally, students have to identify good and poor conductors of heat, whereas good conductors are metals, poor conductors are wood, plastic, air. Okay, so do you have any common questions to share with us? Okay, for common question types, for this topic requires knowledge recall for explanation questions and experiments. So let's look at this uh, commonly tested question. Alright, since the question here states that there are four cups of tea at the same temperature, which is 90 degrees Celsius, all right, and each cup is made out of different material. So at the end of the experiment, they notice that the temperature of the tea decreased for all of them, but only to but for different extents. So when you see a change in temperature, okay, uh, be it uh, heat gain and heat loss, and the change variable is actually the type of materials. So we can actually deduce based on these two uh, variables that they are testing on heat conductivity of materials. So for, so for part A, all right, before students take their answer in a rush, they have to stop and think. All right, since ice water is something cold, uh, uh, ice water will gain heat and become hotter over time. So to keep it cold for a longer period of time, or to retain its temperature for a longer period of time, Okay, we need it to gain heat slowly. So firstly, they must have concept recall, whereby a good conductor of heat, uh, sorry, a poor conductor of heat will gain heat and loses heat slowly. So in this case, all right, we will need a poor conductor of heat, uh, which based on the results is cup L. And to explain in question B, okay, we need to employ the three steps answering technique, which is describing the results, analyzing the results, and link back to the question. Alright, so firstly, to describe the results, they must describe based on the result that temperature of the tea in cup L shown was the highest. So when they analyze it, which is a science concept or property, alright, they have to say that it is a porous conductor of heat. Then they have to link back to the question, right, which is hence, it will conduct heat from the surrounding air to the ice water the slowest, keeping it cold for the longest period of time. So in for, the, for such question, do note that superlative or comparative terms, all right, like EST or ER, must be used in explaining such question to show that to show the marker that they have a valid reason to choose this material over the rest. Okay, and the tip to hand, to handle such question is that in, they should not rush. Ask themselves whether the, the objective is for the object to gain or lose heat faster or slower before deciding whether they need a good conductor or a poor conductor of heat. Okay, so we have actually prepared a useful concept map that summarizes this topic, so click on the link below to download them. Thank you very much. 
to watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free. As well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A Grader Learning Centre.